we have ignition and full thrust on the RD-180. And both SRB chamber pressures look good. The vehicle has cleared the tower and is beginning the pitch yaw roll maneuvers. And the uh, PU system has gone to closed loop control. Passing 30 seconds in the flight, the vehicle is now two miles in altitude. And the RD-180 is now throttling down as expected. Engine response looks good. And the vehicle has completed its roll maneuver. Passing 50 seconds in the flight, Mach 1, Atlas 5 is now supersonic. The vehicle is now passing through max Q, maximum dynamic pressure. The RD-180 is now throttling back up as expected. Engine response looks good. Standing by for SRB burnout. And coming up on 90 seconds into flight. We have burnout on both SRBs. And the RD-180 is now throttling back up as expected. Vehicle is now 20 miles in altitude, traveling at uh, 3,000 miles per hour. And we have indication of jettison of both SRBs. And the vehicle has gone to closed loop guidance. And the RCS system is now pressurizing to flight levels. And the reaction control system pressures have reached operational levels. The vehicle is now 45 miles in altitude, uh, about 100 miles downrange, traveling at 6,500 miles per hour. And the RD-180 is now throttling to maintain a constant 5G acceleration limit. Engine response looks good. And the Centaur has begun the boost phase chill down sequence to thermally condition the RL-10 for operation. And the RD-180 is now throttling to maintain a 4.6G acceleration limit until VECO. And we have VECO, booster engine cutoff. And we have stage separation. Seeing good pre-start on the RL-10. Standing by from S1. And we have MES-1. And we have good indication of uh, payload fairing jettison. A 
this first burn will be about eight and a half minutes of today's flight. Um, looking at uh, MES-1 signatures, the uh, chamber pressures uh, have come up well. Um, RL-10 is uh, operating stably at this time. Sent RPU system has gone to closed loop control. Passing uh, six minutes into flight, uh, continuing to see stable operation from the RL 10. Uh, the RCS system has started. Uh, uh, cat bed warmings, um, seeing good responses from that system, and the TU system is uh, driving mass errors towards zero. The vehicle remains uh, very close to the middle of the range track, is about 125 miles in altitude. Uh, about 800 miles downrange, traveling at uh, 13,500 miles per hour. And we have Miko uh, main engine cutoff. 